What's up guys? Happy Sunday. It's a miserable day out here and up. Oh, that's my water alarm. Um, it's nasty out today, but we're on our way to Bev's to train. And uh, first we're gonna stop and uh, I'm gonna see Mike Stella at the recovery lab. He's gonna do some uh, manual work on me and um, you know make sure that um, everything's uh, up and running fun uh, properly. And I'll give you guys a glimpse into that, and then who knows what else? We'll go from there. All right? What's up, guys? We're here in the recovery lab with none other than <laughs> Mike Stella. <laughs> That's it. I'm si I'm doing the cleaning very in a sinister yeah. fashion to get ready for your session. The, to the torture device. Right. Exactly. Right. Liter no, oh, it's no, not so bad. Literally, it's not so bad. they are. <laughs> but, the, uh, it's the feel so good kind of torture. We're gonna go over a little bit. Uh, you know, I had a bit of a not injury, but I would call it maybe a discomfort. You know, something that kind of came about due right. to some you know, mobility issues that I had that stemmed from getting bigger in the off season and whatnot. So it, you know, affected other areas of my body. So I'll let uh, Mike uh, go over that. Um, sure. While he's working on me and yeah. just kind of see what he does, which is extremely beneficial and for any type of athlete, not just a bodybuilder, but especially for a bodybuilder. So, you got it, man. All right, we're going to get to it. So what we're going to do today is work on Vlad's his shoulders and his elbows, okay? So basically what happens, in, especially in, in your bodybuilding community, is as he puts on mass, you know, in his pack and his lat and these big internal rotators, you start to see that he loses a lot of his external rotation in his shoulder. So the problem with that is as he gets into like deep benching or deep chest pressing, he runs out of room in that shoulder and then you start stressing out the elbow. So you'll get some like medial or lateral elbow pain, which you had been getting pretty consistently. Yeah. It wasn't something that was like really holding you back from training, but it was a concern, exactly. you know, uh, in terms of like not being able to, you know, get through full workouts or, you know, be limited by pain. So what we found is that if we're proactive with the tissue work and opening up his external rotation, specifically his pecs, his lats, his, his bicep and his subscap deep in his shoulder, um, we improve his external rotation and uh, the shoulder and the, and the elbow pain pretty much goes away. So uh, that's our, that's been our strategy for upper body right, for the last, what, month, a little yeah. bit over a month, right. you know, so as he's getting closer to the show, the wear and tear starts increasing, you know, so our, our vigilance has to also increase, I think would, it would be a fair assessment. Yep. So yeah, this is, uh, we call this instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization, or Graston technique as it's commonly referred to, um, so basically, the metal instruments give me a mechanical advantage on the tissue. Um, it also is great for breaking down like superficial fascial adhesions, creating some blood flow. Um, it also stimulates collagen production in, in the tissues as well. So, you know, it's, this is kind of like, again, it's for any athlete or, or bodybuilder specifically to improve tissue quality and just keep the muscle tissue supple. This is pretty much a rock star treatment. You can't really get better than this. Let's tie this down to his lat. <laughs> So I just use cocoa butter as like an emollient so that it's not ripping the skin to pieces, but... Nice. Looks good. So this is that external rotation component we were kind of talking about. So you can see how Vlad's arm doesn't like to lay back. Now I can really force it, but what I'm doing is cranking on his elbow when I do that. So opening up his pec and all this other surrounding musculature will just improve his external rotation. It just makes getting deeper on your bench or any pressing a lot cleaner on the shoulder. You don't start like sacrificing other structure. Now this is uh, ART, right? Yeah, this is this is more like active release. Um, so what I'm what I like to do is use my hands first to kind of assess the tissue quality, and it also allows me to get deeper because my fingertips are smaller, obviously. So I'm going deeper, and then basically what I'm doing is kind of pinning the tissue down, and I'm gliding his muscle underneath my fingers. So I'm kind of double dipping this treatment. It's not only just the pressure from my hands, but also the, the act of pulling his tissue through my hands kind of really helps open up these fascial layers. So I'm going to work him this way, like in his bench pressing motion, and then I'll post his arm up here, and we'll start working into that external rotation because a lot of these pec 
fibers will help internally rotate the shoulder. You know, so now we're just kind of repeating this process through his arm. You know, and this is great for like bringing some blood flow around his elbow. You know, so this obviously I'm treating his pain site right now, bringing some blood flow to the table, help this, the ligament and the tissue recover. Um, but then we're going to work all the way up the chain so we kind of address the cause and the, and the site of the pain itself, which is usually out here for you, right? The lad is like up in here. Yeah, I mean, it went from being where I couldn't really even do a bicep curl, or especially when I try to supinate. Right, right, like really supinate, um, yeah. To where now, you know, I would say it's probably like 99% you know, better. That's awesome. Yeah. So, you know, it's always a work in progress. How long had you had the pain before that, though? Oh, um... Like, just skip to get... I mean, it, it had context. kind of... It, it, the sh it started more so in the shoulders, and then, um... The, uh... The elbow began hurting afterwards. Right, uh, like right. Like you said, it was... We're stemming from the shoulder, from yeah. There, yeah. Elbows are always the victim, they're never the culprit. You know? Same thing with knees. Generally speaking, you've got elbow pain. It's probably because you've got some wrist or shoulder problems. Most likely shoulder problems, especially in bodybuilding, just because of the nature of the type of workouts that you guys are doing, just type of training. So you can see redness, but I'm not bruising him. I'm not, like, really injuring the tissue, but we're definitely bringing some blood to the table for sure. That's it. So we're all done, and I'm going to show you the insane graininess and vascularity that is a direct result of this. Right, absolutely. Damn. <laughs> Pretty crazy, right? How do you feel there? The spread. Yeah, look oh, at the separation in serratus. This is awesome right here. That looks awesome, dude. Sweet. That's what we're looking at, the width. You know, you open up that subscap, you get that width. Awesome. Yeah, I say we, you know, like leading up to the show, we really focus on that external rotation just so that you can get your bicep to peak yeah. a little better, you know, because your active range is still a little short, but we can get it. We can get it. We just got to keep, like you said, we hadn't worked on upper yeah. body in a, in a week or two. So I think just may, maybe making that a focus and then we can, you know, we'll do some more like the aesthetic work, like the septum work in the legs and yeah. any other areas that we want to bring out, but keeping that opened up so that you can present, you know, really well. All right? Sounds good. Awesome, man. All right. You got it.